KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. Today in this video, I'll explain a familiar theorem in mathematics. Yes, before going to that, please subscribe my math channel. Okay, let's go through this. I'll explain a familiar theorem in mathematics, which is Pythagoras theorem. What is that? Pythagoras theorem. Yes, Pythagoras theorem is also called as Baudhayana theorem. Why Pythagoras theorem is also called as Baudhayana theorem? Why Pythagoras theorem is also called as Baudhayana theorem? Because before Pythagoras, which means in 800 BC itself, our ancient Indian mathematician Baudhayana has proved this theorem. That's why sometimes it is also called as Baudhayana theorem, right? Pythagoras theorem is also called as Baudhayana theorem. Yes, let us prove this one. Yes, let us go through the statement. What is the statement? In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides, right? In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. Right, let us prove this one. So first, uh, draw the right angle triangle. Yes, see. Look here. This is the right angle triangle. A, B, C. Right angle is at B. A, B, C is the right angle triangle. And right angle is at B. Here, A, B and B, C and A, C are the sides. A, C is called hypotenuse. Why? Because of opposite to the right angle right yes this is the biggest side as well as hypotenuse yes in this triangle what we have to prove the square of hypotenuse which means s is square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides means a b square plus b c square a b square plus b c square right we have to prove this one okay let us prove yeah first term first write down given what he has given yes in right angle triangle right angle triangle abc in right angle triangle abc right angle is at b right in right angle triangle abc right angle is at B, right? Yes, RTP. What we have to prove, required to prove is RTP is, yes, this one. S square is equal to AB square plus BC square, right? S square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay, next term, for the proof, we have to construct something. What is that? Yes, draw perpendicular on AC. Draw perpendicular on AC. See, suppose this is the point is BD. BD is perpendicular to AC. This is the construction. So write down construction. What is the construction? Draw BD is perpendicular to AC. Right? Yes. A given is given that in a right angle triangle ABC right angle is at B that is given next RTP is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square and the construction is draw BD perpendicular to AC are you following properly yeah yes now we'll prove yes shall I rub it this one yeah see Okay, proof. Proof. Look here. By the properties of similar triangle, by the using of properties of similar triangles, we'll prove this one, right? Here, in this figure, totally how many triangles are there? Yes. How many? A, B, C is the main triangle. Next, A, D, C is the, A, D, B is the another one. 
and BDC is the another one. Totally three triangles, right? So, so in this figure, first compare the triangles ADB and ABC. All are right angle triangle only. Why? Because of BD is perpendicular to AC. So that's why these are these three triangles are right angle triangle, right? Yes. First, uh, compare triangle ADB and ABC. Is it it? Yeah. First, uh, in triangle ADB and ABC, right? ADB and ABC. Look here. Angle in this triangle ADB, angle D is equal to angle B, right? <coughs> angle d is equal to angle b in this triangle angle d in this uh, big triangle angle b both are 90 degrees or not yes exactly both are that is equal to 90 degrees isn't it yeah next uh, see in this triangle angle a is equal to a big triangle abc angle a both are same or not the the because this is the A is the common vertex and A is the common angle. So, angle A is equal to angle A. So, that is common. Right. So, in these two triangles, these angles are equal, this angle, this angle equal and this angle equal in two triangles. That's why by A A similarity, by A A similarity, by A A similarity, triangle ADB similar to triangle ABC isn't it triangle ADB similar to ADB similar to triangle ABC right uh, in two if two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio right if two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio that's why in these two triangles AD by AD by AB is equal to in the small triangle AD I have taken the big triangle AB right AD by AB is equal to again in small triangle AB AB why because of this is hypotenuse in this big triangle hypotenuse is AC right are you following properly yeah see AD by AB is equal to AB by AC um, uh, from this, what can you write? AB into AB is AB square is equal to AD into AC. Right? Yeah. So, this is think it of equation number 1. Similarly, similarly, compare these triangles, compare another one, angle BDC and angle ABC. Compare these two triangles. Look here. In triangle BDC, BDC and triangle ABC. Yes, this is uh, similar to this one. Here, look here. Angle D is equal to angle B. In this triangle, angle D is equal to angle B. Angle D is equal to angle B. That is equal to 90 degrees, right? Right angle. Next, uh, here, angle C is the common for both the triangles. Right? Angle C is the common for both the triangles that's why angle c is equal to angle c that is common right yeah so again by a a similarity a a similarity triangle b d c similar to triangle a b c right yeah again these two are similar triangles that's why uh, if two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio see in the in this triangle triangle bd say I, I have taken cd cd by in big triangle yes bc that is equal to in in small triangle suppose bc i have taken this is the hypotenuse then hypotenuse is ac right yes cd by bc is equal to cd by bc is equal to bc by yes 
Are you following? Yeah. So again, from this, what can you write clearly? See, BC square is equal to AC into CD. Right. BC square is equal to AC into CD. Are you following? Yes, this is think it of equation number two. Suppose you add uh, one and two. You add one and two. One and two. Here in the LHS, what is this? AB square plus BC square is there in LHS. In RHS, AD into AC plus AC into CD. Here in LHS, AB square, here also LHS, BC square. In RHS, AD into AC, AD into AC. Here RHS, AC into CD. We have to add like this. So that is equal to, here, what is the common one? Look here. What is the common one? Yes, exactly. AC is the common. Next, uh, remaining part is here, AD plus CD. Isn't it? Yes. Here, AC into AD plus CD. Here, AD plus CD. What can you write? AD plus CD means, yes, AC or not? Right? Yes, AD plus CD is equal to AC. So, in the place of AD plus CD, write AC into AC. Right? So, AC into AC is AC square. That is equal to AC square. See, what we have proved, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So, therefore, AC square is equal to AB square a B square plus B C square. Hence, uh, proved. Right? We got A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square or not? We got. Yes. It is very, very important theorem. In everything in mathematics, it, will, it is widely used. In trigonometry, mainly in trigonometry, it will be used widely. Everything in trigonometry will be... It depends upon this right angle triangle only. Is it clear? Yes.